Ew. That lady just looked at me like really weird. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have my 2002 Duramax. We're going to be doing a full install of Alpine speakers on the front and back doors. And then we got a full head unit. It's a Kenwood. Uh, DDX374 BT and the Alpines are SPS 610C for the back and then for the front they are the SPR's 60s and then for mine I had to buy a whole like a dash that goes on the uh, it's the bezel yeah it's the bezel it replaces it the original so I can fit the uh, tin wood and it Man, looks like it's going to be new yep Painted and everything, ready to go, ready to go in. Just... All right, so now, right now, we're taking off the uh, bezel so we can put the new stereo in. And uh, first off, I gotta take this DSP5 switch out yeah, yeah. for the uh, tunes. And then this dash just pops off. So you gotta be kind of careful and uh, just grab by top and work your way down. And then from there, take the key. Put it all the way in one, so you can get it the dash all the way out. If you don't put the steering wheel all the way down in the gear shift, it'll get caught up and you end up breaking it. All right, to get this one out, there's two tabs on the side of it, so you just press the tabs down and it'll unlock and do both sides, and it'll just slide right out. And when you get it out, you just gotta unplug the uh, antenna, which is that one. And then unplug the factory wiring harness, which can be a real pain sometimes. But, and that's what it looks like right there. Alright, so now the next step is going to be is to uh, wire up the new head unit, which is this uh, Kenwood double den that we got. Brand spanking new. Yep. This is what it looks like. I'm going to leave the, well, I'll take it off just be careful for this application we won't be using this uh, bracket so we won't be needing this we'll just set it off to the side this one even comes with a USB port that you can mount on the outside of the dash so we're gonna get it wired up all right so to wire this up it's pretty self-explanatory you get a Plug that will plug into your factory GM wiring harness and then you take the plug that comes with your new radio and you just match the colors to the colors get all the wires you need and that plugs straight in and works like your factory stereo We're gonna a little bit better. either splice them together or maybe solder them um, whichever we can get to right now so we don't know which one we're going to do yet Yeah, stay tuned for that. It'll be good I really like how Crunchfield, they how they set these radios up where it's easy to wire. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, the directions come really, really standard. Um, most people can do it. It's pretty basic stuff. Yeah. So, so you, all you got to do is hook every color to the same color that's on the stereo, and yeah. it plugs right in. Alright guys, um, so now we're putting the mounting brackets on, and it's super easy with this stereo. All it is is these uh, clips right here, and you put three screws in it, and then once you tighten these screws down, you just slide it into the dash, and you're good to go. We didn't use, these are for... Uh, Steering. Hooking your subs up, and then if you have like steering wheel connections, which we don't, and this is for a mute button, I'm pretty sure. But these are for a reverse camera and parking switch, which we don't have yet. He might put one on there later. And this is your USB drive. We're about to uh, 
plug it in and make sure it works, and yep. then we're going to change all the door speakers. Uh, stereo in before we put the dash in because you want to make sure all your connections work and all your speakers are working before you put everything back together because if they don't, then you're going to be back at uh, square one. We got to plug the antenna in too. You need the adapter? Yeah. Here's the uh, antenna adapter you gotta have for it. Yeah, so this is specific for uh, GM trucks. So if you've got a Dodge or Ford or any other kind of vehicle, you'll probably have to get your specific uh, antenna adapter. So this part just plugs into the back of the stereo. And then, uh, so you push that in. Yeah. And then you take this and take your factory and it just plugs right into the factory one. And so we're going to check out and make sure everything works. This is what comes up when you're uh, when you first turn it on. So you can pick your uh, language, English, uh, all your setup, rear camera, all that. So you just press finish. And then you're going to want to go to, you can put your iPhone up to it, Bluetooth, radio. So we're just going to choose radio, make sure everything works. And, uh... Set this up. Alright, so you just want to push it in. Nice, steady pressure. Don't put too much pressure on it. But you'll need some to get it in there. They, you want to have them click right here. These little tabs need to click on these holes on the side right here. Um, it's hard to see. But that's why they need to click on each side. You'll and that's how you put it in. We got to drill the new hole for the DSP-5 switch. Right yep. Good news. Yeah. And now we put on new door speakers. New door speakers. All right. So all you need to take this door apart is a seven millimeter on a ratchet. And uh, first thing you're gonna do is pop this piece off and there's just two clips holding it on behind it so just use a little bit of pressure wiggle it a little bit and it'll pop off and then you're going to want to feel the bottom and you'll feel one screw down here so you can go down here unscrew this one real quick and that's what it looks like seven millimeter and easy it just pops right off Pull the door handle open and slide it off. And then there's another screw right here, right where below your hand goes. It's kind of hard to see, but just take that one out. Okay, and then there'll be one more under this uh, switch panel. So you just take this out, unplug your uh, window switch, wiggle it, and then all you gotta do is slide up on it and take that out. Unplug your tweeter, and your light. All you gotta do is press down on this tab with a screwdriver and not scratch the door really bad. And then pry out on it and it'll, it'll come right out. Sometimes they get pretty wedged in there. There's two tabs down there. Yep. And then all you do is press on that. And wiggle it on out. And there you go. It's ready to put a new one in. That's how you do the front two doors and the back two doors are with screws. So, new speakers going in. So this kit came with these super nice plugs that plug directly into the factory wiring harness and it's pretty much fail proof because there's some there's two different sizes so all you got to do is plug them into the speaker and then plug them directly into the uh, factory wiring harness and then you can either and then you can just use a couple of self tapping screws and screw the speaker onto the door and it'll say they're right in the perfect position
just finished the install on this uh, O2 Chevrolet and uh, it all went pretty good. We put a whole new stereo system in it. It fit real well. The hardest part was uh, cutting the brace out of the dash. Yeah. And, uh, but the directions that came with the kit explained it real well. So everything I enjoyed buying off Crunchfield, everything will be in the description below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment on any ideas and on the next thing, so on the next build for the truck or Wade's truck. But uh, we'll see you on the next one. I have a pen, I have an apple, uh, apple. I tell you, good for a burnout. Yeah, that's the wrong card. I know, I forgot. The directions that came with the kit explained it pretty well. Yeah, I was really pleased with it. Now what? Are you videoing? Yeah. About time. <laughs> <laughs>